And I'm Quinn Red Mountain. I offer a prayer for the adults that are a part of this imprisonment process, the ones who have decided that this is a good way to deal with the immigration issue, that the people who justify their actions as righteous, that the people who are not sure if they agree, but they're going along, the people who feel bad or feel guilty or maybe have a few drinks at night to take away the wonder if they're doing the right thing, that they have dreams that show the depth of what is happening to these children, the traumas that they are experiencing, that, that the guilt and the realization that it is not the right path, that it is a deep and dangerous mistake to continue this path, that they can feel the upwelling of righteousness in their own heart and their mind where they stop being complicit, where they stop taking orders, where they stop showing up, or they do show up and they speak up, that they say no, that they even possibly say fuck you, and that they take action. And that is true for all of us, and especially the people who are directly involved and who are carrying out these orders, because they are orders that they either walk away or sit down energetically or physically and take those orders no more. Also a prayer for the hearts and minds of the children that, as both Elizabeth and Bob mentioned, that there is not a hardening of the soul to the point of no return for these children for because of the horrific experience that they're going through, that it is changeable, healable over time. For those children who might permanently never be connected again with their parents or that they have been trafficked, let alone the people in the camps, that somehow they find the support they need to heal from this as they become older so that they are not hard-hearted people. People go through very difficult things and be, can become resilient and heart-centered, even in spite of that. And I pray that these children are those children, that they can become the leaders of the next generation because of or in spite of this horrific treatment that they are experiencing and that they have enough of a heartfelt interaction with even a few adults, American adults that they are interacting with, that they can see that not all of, quote, us are horrifying and that they can still be an open-hearted person at some point in their life and not be ruined forever because of this trauma. Those are my hopes and those are my prayers. And I ask the spirit of creation and the goddesses of mothers and children and all the wise people who really don't know how to stop this logically, that all of those drops of desire for righteousness gather together into a flood that sooner than later stops this madness and changes the hearts and minds of those who can stop it with simply a word, no. That's my prayer.